Hi, you remember me, I'm John. Um, a lot of people know me as Ulf, but also on Angry Pug Artist. You know me from there too. Well, this is the other hobby that I do. Um, basically, I do a lot of primitive living. So what I've decided to do, because we keep getting a lot of questions, is from actually other groups that I play with, is how to do this, how to do primitive living. So we're gonna do a series of short little videos and uh, basically walk you through how to set up primitive camps, how to do some easy fire making, and uh, basically uh, early, early uh, period camping. Um, that's it in a nutshell. We'll talk to you shortly. Take care. Hi. Well, a lot of you people have been asking me, well, some interesting questions. A lot of the questions are like, I don't understand what a period camping kit would be like. So what we're going to basically cover today and make a couple short little videos is um, we're going to make a, a little lean-to, which is a basically a, a period uh, bivouac or sleeping structure. And then I'm also going to show you the proper way to um, use wool blankets in uh, lieu of a uh, zero degree camping bag. Um, so we'll get started here in a couple seconds. But I'm going to go over just the basic kit right now. So I got two types of canvases. I've got basically a lightweight ground cloth. That is the white canvas there. And then I have a heavier duty, uh, it's more of a heavy duty uh, tarpaulin canvas. A little bit of oil treatment onto it, keeps the water off of you. I've got roughly three little ropes. These ropes have been pre-done and toggled. And uh, what they are is basically the toggles are two pieces, one stick with two holes in it. And it, it just, it helps in the, the whole aspect of um, drawing the rope taut. And then we just have some regular spikes. Now the spikes can, you can use, if you don't have them, you can use just normal tree limbs or something. Um, so in a couple seconds here, we will start laying out the, uh, the tent and show you how to set up a simple structure for surviving out in the, the woods or basic primitive uh, backpacking. Thank you. Okay, hi, yeah, we're back. This is my daughter, Jonquil, and my son, Johnny. They're both going to be helping me today, and we're going to be showing you how to set up the uh, basic diamond wedge structure. So go ahead and start. She's going to be basically holding the pole. This can be done with a one-person job, but it just goes a little quicker when you have two people. But we have a perfect square piece of fabric, and what we do is we're going to bring it over, and we're going to anchor one of the edges down with our little dog helper there. Oops, careful. Um, so we do is we, we put one end up on top of the pole, okay? The other end's basically gonna be taken to the back and stretched out, and that'll be another anchor point. We brought the rock out because our soil out here is really, really sandy, so you need to uh, sometimes anchor the, uh, the poles down. Okay, now what we're gonna do is use a stake you gonna anchor the back down first? Okay. We're gonna anchor the back down with a stake. Like I said, the ground is so soft, it just, it's really sandy. Use the, use the rock and smash it down to the ground. There you go, and I just set the rock on top of it. Okay, so that's basically our first step. And to give you a better idea of what we're doing, Jacqueline, I need you to bring the pole. The pole will usually be brought in at a little bit of an angle, like this. And then the two edges will be spiked it down. It's hard to see the structure right now. Lean the, lean the top forward. Go ahead, stake that other end down, down John. Okay, basically we have the back three points anchored and then we have our pole in the front. Okay, John, go ahead. We're gonna use two ropes rather than one. You can normally use this with one rope. Hold it. 
He's basically going to cinch the rope up, give it tension. Keep a hand on the hand on it, Jonquil. And then we're going to put another another rope on it. Now, this structure is kind of small. I believe it's only like a seven foot by seven foot piece of canvas. But um, it can be done with larger pieces of canvas. I usually recommend like a 10 by 10 piece of canvas to do this. And uh, you want to basically, when you set these up, you want to put your back into the wind. And so the opening is basically, you could put a fire right here in the front. You can go ahead and let go, Jonquil. And uh, sometimes it helps to get a little stick like this and prop up the inside. So she's going to crawl inside there and kind of angle the stick. She's getting the, the sharp point off of it right now. And basically prop up because this, this canvas is actually stretched out after a while. But that, that's your basic survival structure right there. Um, what you can do then is like grab the green canvas there and stretch it out inside. You're going to make like a laying down area. Um, you take a secondary piece of canvas. And this is basically just a ground tarp so you will stay dry. Keep the moisture off of you that way when you make your bed. Okay, now that we have the basic structure up, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over bedding, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, get ready, and show you the next little step. Now what we have here now is a basic bed roll. And what a bed roll is, is I'll try not to trip on my tent. A bed roll is, there's three blankets. Go ahead and open up, guys. And what we've done is we've layered these pieces just like this one two and I've got three pieces and they're layered in half lengthwise and this is basically the basic construction for a, a bedroll now the real trick of this is when you lay it down um, I generally lay the open side kind of like a sleeping bag towards the fire towards the front of the tent and then over here where uh, Johnny is is you tuck you tuck your your back end, you fold it, and that'll get tucked down under, and so it, it seals like where the feet are, okay? So, well, I am going to now walk over here and let them put it inside the tent. He's already done the, the tuck already. And generally what we do is we try, we try to, when they set up things, is we try to don't walk on the canvas or anything like that. Because when you walk on canvas, it'll, it'll push uh, debris through the bottom and uh, cause yourself little rips and stuff. But, okay, John, we'll go ahead and open it up and climb in there. Yep. It's just like you're going to bed. Generally, the other thing is we normally do is uh, we will take our bag. Go ahead and lift your head up. And we will use our bag that we carry stuff out as our pillow. There you have it. That's it. That's There's no big magic to this. Um, as long as your back is to the wind, this will this will keep the, the rain off you in a he heavy, heavy downpour, actually. Um, if you want to get really fancy, you can anchor the edges down or, you know, rim the uh, side with rocks or even layer some uh, green greenery onto it. But that's it in a nutshell. That is the structure. Walk over here so we get a better idea. You know, that's it. Okay. Wave good night, kids. We'll see you in the morning, Jonquil. Hopefully the monsters and coyotes don't get you. Night. Is he going to keep you company tonight? Okay. Hi, we're back. 
Um, one of the things that we're going to show you is basically a transportation roll. Now, historically, I have no idea what these would have been called, but they were just a way to bundle your bedding and your tent so you could carry it when you were hiking. Um, so basically what we have here is we have our bundle of blankets and then we also have our tent and a couple of the ropes that we had. So let's go ahead and start with the let's go ahead and start with the tent. What we do is we're going to take the uh, the tent fabric and I've got this set down just so we can keep the dust and dirt off of it. But the uh, tent basically we tie it or we we fold it in a long form first. Basically what we're making is we're making a, a burrito out of uh, the fabric and uh, the canvas. Once we figured out the right way to go, generally we want to fold it the long way. And our second step is, Johnny, can you grab the uh, the blankets while she's straightening it out? What we do is we got our, our bundle of blankets. They're still kind of folded together in a, a sleeping fashion, and uh, this pretty much acts yeah, like this stuffing. And we lay those out in the center. I like to tuck the ends in a little bit so they don't overlap or, or lay out. And then you can take the ends of the canvas and wrap them over the ends of the fabric. No, no, not yet. Do the side ends. There you go. Now what you do is you're going to sandwich, uh, sandwich it together and slowly roll it up towards the other end. Okay, so we have our basic burrito form right here. Now what we can do is we're going to come over here, grab a rope. He's going to find the end of the rope and he's going to cinch it around the end really tightly. If you've got some more ropes, you can always do more knots here in the center area, there and there, just to kind of make the whole thing uh, little more compact and easier to uh, carry. But we tie one end up, take the end of the rope, and you pretty much make sure it's taut. Now we're using one of the toggle ropes just because, well, it's out here and we're using it right now. That gets tied nice and tight again. Just wrap it around. There you go. Oh God! <laughs> so we have our basic our packing burrito here, and what? Johnny is now going to do, he's going to go ahead and put this on so you can see how this thing slings over your shoulders. Now the rope, the rope pretty much hangs down the front. It <laughs> helps if you don't have glasses on. And you just basically throw it over your shoulders. Now as this piece goes here, here, these two pieces can get tied together to make it a snugger, a snugger fit. But um, Throw it up more on your shoulder so it's more centered. Okay. Bring your front forward. There you go. And if you tie those two ends together there, it's actually very comfortable to, to hang on. And you, like I said, the more ropes you can put on it, you make it into a tighter bundle. But this is basically it. You know, that's it. And uh, this is how you would hike places. Keep going. No one wants you here. See you next week. Bye. What food? He, he can forage on his own. So, that's basically it. Nope, nope, nobody likes you. Go away. Keep going. See you later. Have a nice day. Anyways, that's it. Throw the bundle on you. And we will talk to you shortly.